is only war. What is up, gents? 40k dirtbags. We just got Mortarian dropped on the link. Let's go. So over in Discord, somebody just posted this. I guess they're playing this live uh, on YouTube. I'm not watching it, obviously. But somebody shared the uh, Mortarian thing, right? Data sheet, uh, which we're going to go over today. So I was super skeptical. Obviously, all you Death Guard players are as well. Uh, is Death Guard going to be low tier? Are they going to be worth it? Um, should I play them? Should I switch factions? Whatever the fuck it may be. We have no idea. There's still so much more to come out to play. I'm just going to say this guy looks fun. Right, so think about what he gained, what he lost. We're gonna go through it, some ideas, stuff like that. It's gonna be a quick video, so if you guys are new to the channel, definitely subscribe, uh, like, comment, do all the shit. Uh, head over to Patreon if you guys are into, into the competitive scene. We ranked number one Great Knight player last year in the world. We're Chaos Space Marine player number one right now. I do have a shit ton of Death Guard on the channel, so let's get into this. So if you guys can, hopefully you guys can see this, but I'm trying to make it as big as possible. Mortarian doesn't show the points. But he's movement 10, toughness 12, uh, so he lost 2 inches of movement. Uh, he got a 2 plus save though, that was huge. He actually gained a uh, plus 1 to his save, and he's wound 16, so he lost 2 wounds as well. Leadership 5 plus, which is good, uh, and obsec 6, which is insane. He's just going to be fucking stealing objectives all day if he doesn't die. Uh, his weapons, he's got range weapon, which is a psychic, and he'll be able to shoot, uh, he can't shoot the lantern because it's a pistol. So I don't think you can shoot psychic and pistol at the same time. So you have to choose. Psychic weapon is Rotwind, uh, 18 inch range blast. So anything on a uh, five unit or higher, you're gonna get plus one. If it's a 10 man unit, you get plus two to the dice roll, uh, and then so on and so on uh, in increments of five. Devastating wounds, so anything that is a six to wound is gonna be a mortal wound, it's only one damage. Lethal hits, uh, automatically wounds on a six, and psychic. So it's D6 plus three attacks, uh, 18 inch range. Hitting on a two, strength seven, minus two AP, one damage. So it's not it's not bad. Uh, I wish that it was like able to shoot both because then he could have some fucking range potential. Uh, but at least he can shoot the pistol in combat still, which is good. So Lantern is uh, a pistol, sustain hits, D3, which I guess it's exploding D3 every time you roll six. So you get one shot. If you roll six, it's an extra D3 hits. So I guess that's that's new, that's cool. Um, ballistic skill two, strength nine. So you're not really wounding, it's mainly for infantry. Uh, minus three AP and three damage. So flat three damage, which I believe is what it was before, except you used to draw a line and kind of shoot shit in the line. Uh, he has deadly demise D6, so if he blows up, um, everything within six inches takes D6 mortals. Feel no pain five plus, so he did keep the feel no pain, which we were all curious about. Uh, Nurgle's gift, so he has the aura, um, which I think we should go through because I actually pulled out Death Guard again to kind of see what the combos are. So uh, at the start, here, here's what he gets, right? So he gets the host of Plagueis. Uh, at the start of the battle round, select one of the abilities in the host of Plagues section, C left. Until the start of the next battle round, this model has that ability. Um, and then he's got an aura. Uh, while a friendly death guard unit is within six inches of this model, that unit can ignore any and all modifiers to its characteristic and to any role or test made for it. So basically he just ignores everything within six inches. Everybody unit within six inches of this guy, which you're probably gonna have most of your army within range of this guy. Um, Excluding modifiers of saving throws. So obviously any AP AP weapons you're not gonna ignore, but everything else is gonna be ignored. So you're gonna ignore any combat attrition tests, any battle um, tests, uh, any minus one to wound test, minus one to hit, uh, minus one, like you're basically ignoring all of that shit, uh, which is pretty cool just built into everybody within six inches. So most of your army, uh, is going to be ignoring a lot of shit uh, if they're around Mortarian, which again, they're probably going to be. He's got a 4-up invuln save, so he's got a 2-up, 4-up, toughness 12. 5-up, feel no pain. Now, with everything that kind of ignores 
you know, most shit like the hammerheads was really why we weren't bringing this guy before because uh, he just died to two hammerhead shots. Now that hammerhead, I think, got rid of that shit. He at least gets a four up in and save with a five up feel no pain. So he's going to be a little bit more tankier. Uh, I mean, with amount the amount of shots that are coming in from the Knights, again, it's still going to be kind of he's going to be targeted. I thought he was going to get something like uh, other characters got where you can't target him outside of 12 inches like Nurgle's Rod or something or Nurgle's Gift. But he didn't get that. Uh, so I'm not sure if the keyword Nurgle is going to have any um, strats that he can use where he can't be targeted outside of 12 inches. That would be really, really good. If he does get that, he's going to be, I think, a must-have in almost every single list. I mean, he's such a fucking awesome-looking model. So, Host of Plagueis. He gets to pick one of these every single battle round. First one, Miasma, a Pestilence. So this is our Miasma, which used to be minus one to hit. Uh, while friendly Death Guard units within six inches of this model, each time a range attack targets that unit, uh, the unit has the benefit of cover. So basically everything within six inches of him, uh, the unit, so basically if the unit's further, but at least one guy's within six inches, everybody gets cover. Which now cover gets applied to Mortarian, so he has a two up, four up, with cover save almost all the time as long as you're selecting this. So that's actually pretty good. Your whole army now gets cover. Uh, your Terminator's in the open, get cover. Um, Plague Marines, cover. Everything, tanks, everything within six inches of them, cover. Uh, I'm just thinking of him kind of charging up the field with a whole bunch of bloat drones uh, or flesh mowers. <laughs> just everybody getting cover. Uh, seems pretty good. Disease, influence, aura. While friendly death guard units within six inches of this model, each time a model in that unit makes an attack, reroll the wound roll of one. <sighs> okay, so... Each time a model unit makes an attack, so any kind of attack, shooting attack, melee attack, you get to reroll the wound roll of one. So basically you're just putting a, a roll that we used to have on every single plague weapon as a selection for Mortarian. So this isn't the best, uh, I would say. Uh, I think, I, I don't know, there could be better. Again, we haven't tested this out yet, so maybe the reroll ones is better. Who the fuck knows? Uh, next thing is a toxic presence. Uh, while friendly death guard units within 12 inches of this model add three to the contagion range of that unit So uh, we don't know what kind of contagions they're gonna get really just nurgle gift Contagion range three inches. So it goes to six inches turn one nine inches turn two and then 12 inches turn three uh, And that's really it so we don't know if they're gonna have options to different contagion ranges which might be beneficial because it's basically 12 inches from him, so it's really, really far. So it's 12 inches from him, him, and then basically 12 inches from that. So everything within 24 inches of him basically gets a contagion range. <laughs> uh, so that could be good if he's kind of being defensive behind a building, behind a wall that you can't really shoot at him, uh, and you really need that contagion range. That's going to be that. So he has the monster keyword, uh, Psyker, Fly, Character, Epic Hero, Demon, Grenades, which he can use that strat, uh, which... Might be better than Lantern. I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. Um, Chaos, Nurgle, Primark, and Mortarian. So those are his keywords. He's Death Guard, Invuln Save, all that shit. So uh, one to six wounds, subtract one from the hit roll. So instead of hitting on twos, he'll hit on threes. But he has five attacks, base. Uh, hitting on two, strength 14. So I think the one strat, I don't know if it's just vehicles or if monsters get it as well. Shit, I don't, I don't have the strats pulled up. Uh, can he use the one strat where if he charges in, he gets to roll that amount of dice, and then if it goes over your, or if it's more than your, double your toughness, you get two additional dice? Fuck, now I have to look up that strat. Can he use the strat? Nope, just looked it up. It's only vehicle. <laughs> so he won't be able to get the, to use that like charging strat. Um, but he doesn't have towering or anything, so he can't be seen behind uh, ruins and stuff. So he can be hidden. Uh, so at least that's something where turn one or if he comes in from reserve or anything like that, he doesn't have deep strike or anything. So, and you have to pick this at the start of the, of, of the battle round. So basically you're not going to be able to use the host of Plagueis if you keep him off the table. So most likely he's going to be behind a, a, a ruin or something, trying to block his wings from being seen uh, from all over the entire board. Um, yeah, but he, he's super tanky. I still think getting the two up save where he really needed that. Uh, toughness 12, most shit's going to be wounding him on fives, sixes sometimes, big shit obviously going to be wounding him on threes, 
Uh, but the five of field and pain is definitely needed. And there might be strats to to help out with being a Nurgle, you know, thing. So we have to wait till the strats come out. But yeah, I, I I'm excited. I, I think I think I'm gonna run this guy. This guy's gonna be fucking awesome. I love the model. I love you know Mortarian as 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 a dude. Uh, and I, I really want to make a, a video of him now, him versus the Grey Knights, and kind of just test it out before 10th edition. So let me know uh, in the comments. Obviously, you did before when I when I did the Death Guard video, uh, how kind of upset everybody was. But let's go into this. Nurgle's gift, subtract one from the toughness. So basically you're gonna be swinging at strength 14, anything that's toughness seven, eight. If they're toughness eight, they go down to toughness seven, you're gonna wound on twos. And then the sweep, which is awesome. I wish it was two damage, I don't know why it's not two damage, it should be two fucking damage. Uh, 15 attacks, auto uh, wounding on sixes, hitting on twos, uh, strength seven, so anything that's toughness eight goes down to toughness seven anything toughness seven goes down to toughness six so you're gonna be able to wound on fours or threes uh ap1 one damage so not a huge thing uh, i'm surprised that it didn't get a two damage sweep like lionel johnson did uh i <laughs> fucking wish he got a, a fucking two damage sweep but what else can you combo with him uh spread the sickness if you control an objective marker at the end of your command phase and a death guard unit from your army is within range of the objective marker that objective marker is said to be infected by the remains mm -hmm. under your control so you'd be able to do spread the sickness with him uh pretty reliably so you speed 10 so you can basically get onto an objective marker uh pretty easily if you control the objective marker at the end of your command phase uh yeah so he can he can do that and then all of this so i'm just thinking they're movement four they're going to ignore all the modifiers to movement and stuff. They're toughness six. They're going to get a save if they're within six inches of him. So they have a two up, four up, in cover. So they get the save. Uh, each time a model in the unit makes a range attack and it targets a close to eligible, you don't reroll the wound or roll, wound roll of one. So that's not really going to benefit them. Uh, and the other one was just extending the range. So I think the, the plus one to their save is going to be the best one for everybody. Um... Yeah, that's that, and then this guy, same thing. At least it's not hazardous as well. So the, the thing that he's shooting isn't hazardous, the psychic power. Uh, and then these guys being able to get a cover save is pretty cool. Fight phase, uh, one death guard unit from your army that has not been selected to fight this phase until the end of the phase. Weapons equipped by models in that unit have a sustained hits one ability. He does ha not have sustained hits one, so basically exploding sixes. Uh, while units wholly within range of an affected marker you control, those weapons have a sustained hit two. So basically, he can spend one CP to get exploding sixes, two explodes for every six that he rolls. He doesn't have any fucking rerolls, uh, which is crazy. So no rerolls anywhere. Damn, I thought he was going to help out with this uh, flux thing. Darn. All right. So, yeah, that, that's that's my review. Let me know what you guys think. If you like it, if you hate it, if you're like, fuck Death Guard, or if you're like, let's go Death Guard. Again, we still need all this other shit to, to pan out. But I think having the cover saves almost all the time um, is going to be great for us. Uh until they ignore cover <laughs> but let's go appreciate it thanks for clicking on the video go check out other videos and we'll see you in another video soon